Some of you might be wondering what is the difference between the Buddy Boss platform and the Buddy Boss theme. So I'm going to clarify that in this video. Let's start with the Buddy Boss platform. The platform is the foundation of the whole site. It's a plugin and it is what powers all of the social functionality that you see here. Whereas the Buddy Boss theme is a theme that styles that functionality. So the plugin itself is actually a fork of BuddyPress. BuddyPress is a popular social networking plugin for WordPress. And the reason that we forked the BuddyPress plugin is because it wasn't really serving our customers well. We've been building social networks on WordPress since 2010 and worked with a lot of clients and a lot of customers. And we hear your feedback all the time about all the features that you wish BuddyPress had, all the ways that BuddyPress is not intuitive for you and you wish it worked this way. And we decided the best thing for us to serve our customers is to take over BuddyPress and make all the changes to it that we wish we could and add all the features that we wish it had so that it served our customers really well. And also so that we can have a much more streamlined product offering for you guys so everything is just simpler for you. So in the past, if we wanted to add a feature to BuddyPress, the only way to do it would be to add an additional plugin that extends what BuddyPress does. So you end up with a situation where you have all these different plugins that all have different admin interfaces all kind of trying to work together. And some are from different plugin authors and you're managing license keys from different plugins and it's all just a kind of a mess. And most of these plugins are adding features that really should be out of the box with the social networking software. For us to do everything cleanly, the best way to do it is just to merge all the stuff together in an intelligent way. And then over time, keep adding to it so that you just have this one simple plugin, one unified interface in the admin for doing everything. And when we decided that we were gonna do this, I got super excited because I've had this huge laundry list in my mind of over the years that's built up of things I wanted to do. And I just sat down and wrote up a 30 page document of every feature I wish BuddyPress had, all the ways I wish I could change it. And we've started grinding through that list. So it's not done, there's a lot more we're gonna add. And we're also gonna listen to you guys and, and things that you wish were there, we can actually add now. And we'll keep working on this. So I'll give you a quick tour of the admin area. Now we have just one admin area called Buddy Boss, and all of the social networking options are contained within here. You don't have to look anywhere else. And you can see we have a bunch of components, including, among other things, forum discussions. So we've actually taken over BBPress also and merged that in and then improved it to allow us to have cooler forum layouts in our theme. So this is what the forum area looks like in the theme. If I click on one of the forums, you can see we've really modernized the forum experience. And if you look at other BuddyPress themes that are styling BBPress, this is on another level. What's allowed us to do this is that we've changed the structure of some things to allow the theme to actually style it like this. And it's not just about styling, it's also about the admin options. So we have media uploading built in now. You can attach images to messages, to forums, to activity feeds. We have email invites so your users can actually invite people who are outside of the network to join. We have network search, which allows us to have a live search on the front end. So if I go like this, and do a search. I get a bunch of results. If I click view all, I can actually drill down and find the results from different components of the social network. And that's just built in. Let me show you some other options we've added. Like if I go into settings, and I go to activity, I can turn on follow and likes and link previews right here. And I can also turn on and off all the default types of activity posts that come with the system. And I can even add custom post types into the activity feed. So for example, if you added a jobs plugin like I have in here, it will add this jobs custom post type. If I save this, then now anytime a user creates a job in the social network, that job post will automatically show up in the activity feed. We've done so many custom projects for clients that we've learned all the kinds of things that people are commonly trying to do. And now we're adding those things within this plugin so that it's super powerful and super flexible. So long story short, that's what the plugin is. And then the theme just makes everything in the plugin look really beautiful. So like the photos look great. And if I go to the message inbox, you can see this looks just absolutely stunning. Everything throughout the theme looks gorgeous. So like all these messages, this is being powered by the plugin and then the theme just makes the messages look nicer. To really illustrate this, I'm gonna actually remove the theme and show you what it's like without it. So let's go to the back end. And in here, I'm going to switch the theme to 2019. All right, so here we are in 2019. This is what 2019 theme looks like. And this is the activity feed. So it's still got all the features that you see in the plugin, but its styling is very basic. If I go to the groups directory, it's gonna look very basic. If you've ever used BuddyPress, you'll notice that this basically still looks just like BuddyPress which is to say it's not very exciting, it's not that beautiful, but it's also very minimal. So why don't we make the default look really beautiful? Well, the reason why is that 
it's meant to be theme generic. So the platform can be used with any theme. And we expect that most of you are going to want to use our custom theme that makes all this look really awesome. But if for some reason you don't, let's say you want to build your own custom theme that looks totally different, which people do, right? We work with clients all the time who want really unique stuff. The idea here is that this stuff is just really minimal and really easy for you to theme over. BuddyPress, I have to give them credit. They did an amazing job with the templating system. It's super easy to override all these templates and customize them. And so we didn't want to mess with that. That's one of the things that's made BuddyPress popular is that it's really easy for theme authors like ourselves to make themes on it. All right, so let's put the Buddy Boss theme back on. And now when we refresh this, we've breathed some life back into this. And then the other thing I wanna talk about is what's free versus what's paid. So the Buddy Boss platform is free and open source, just like BuddyPress. Our intent actually is to put it out there to the world, make it free. It's kind of our way of giving back to the BuddyPress community after all these years. We spent two years improving BuddyPress internally and we're giving it away for you. You guys can build your own themes on it, do your own custom dev, whatever you want just like you've always done with BuddyPress. And then we have our theme, which makes everything look really gorgeous, and that's a paid product. So if you come over to buddyboss.com and click free download, you can see we have a number of different options. You can buy our theme, which comes with the theme and the plugin for a single site, or if you pay a little bit more, you get the same product, but it supports five sites. And then we have some other options as well, such as adding a mobile app to your community, which will let you actually access the whole community in an iPhone and Android native mobile app. And if you want to learn more about mobile apps, you can go to appboss.com. This is our sister site. But let's say you're not interested in any of this right now. All you want to do is just download that plugin and play with it. You can just come down here and click download the free BuddyBoss platform plugin. When you download the plugin, you're going to be able to configure everything through the admin and the front end is going to look the way I showed you when I turned the theme off. And then when you decide you're ready to come buy the theme, you just come back here and buy it and you can install the theme right over the plugin. So hopefully that clarifies everything.